to my annual what I got for Christmas video. I hope that you all had a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate, if you celebrate, and if not, I hope you had a great December. This video is going to include a variety of art supplies and random stuff, um, house stuff, adulting life. We're just gonna get right into this. The first gift, as you can see, is an easel. My fiance got this for me. I asked for a really tall wooden easel. This is adjustable. I wanna start painting some more. I wanna get some oil paints. I didn't ask for oil paints for Christmas, but I think I'm gonna buy myself some very soon and get a discount on them. If you guys have a favorite brand, let me know in the comment section below. I'm just pretty excited to try those out, but I'll probably do more acrylic painting to be honest if I'm not like really into that because I'm kind of impatient with drying time and I know that there's stuff that you can get to make it dry quicker, but I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised and I'll really like it. I moved the camera way back so you all can see how tall this thing is. Can you go up to here? I don't know why I'm posing by this. I'm just trying to give you a size reference. I'm gonna move this out of here so you guys can admire the tree for the rest of the video while I open stuff or show you stuff. I already opened stuff. My first day with this and it's already gonna break. The next thing I asked for is a robot. His name is Vector, he's super cute. And the reason I wanted one is because I saw the video on YouTube, like some people testing it, Craig showed it to me. And I'm like, that's really cute. We should get one. I think it'd be fun for our cat to play with. Someone wants to say hi. Also, I do have a video idea. I don't wanna share it because it's a surprise. We'll see if it works. If not, I'll post something on my vlog channel or my cat's channel of this. And if you do wanna see it in action, you can go on over to my Snapchat and or Instagram and look at my stories there. And I'll probably have some up soon of us kind of just um, testing it out and seeing what he does. How cute does he look with his best of bow tie? My next gift, paper. So exciting, but this is not just any old paper. It's called blending card. And for those of you who work with alcohol markers or just like fancy markers in general, this is actually made for Copic markers and it's supposed to help them blend better and just work better in general. I've had this on my to get list for months and I've just put it off the Express It blending card. There are 25 sheets and it's acid free, archival, smooth, white, bright, and laser and inkjet compatible. You can use it for stamping, card making, and yeah, it's just supposed to be really good paper, so I'm excited to try this out. Really quickly, I want to say thank you to Michelle for sending me this package to my P.O. box. It is wrapped the cutest. There's so much stuff in here. A ton of stickers. This mask I might wear to the masquerade party that I have with my friends for New Year's Eve. This is a blank card because she knows I love hedgehogs. Super cute. I am thinking to do an unboxing of this on my vlog channel. I might just include it in a regular vlog. So if you're interested in seeing this, let me know and let me know where I should unbox it. This next thing is food related. Kodiak cakes, really, really good. I thought it would be cool since we already have a griddle and we make pancakes to ask for a waffle maker because I've actually, again, been wanting this for a while. This is a Dash waffle maker, express waffle maker. And it just so happens to be a minty light turquoise blue color. You guys all saw that coming, right? No big surprise, this is my favorite color. show you these that my mom got for me a very adulty very practical gift but I had sent her a photo of these okay actually someone on Twitter one of you guys sent me a photo of these and said that they were at Bed Bath & Beyond and I had to have them but again I just put them on my list and never ordered them so I sent this photo to my mom and I'm like mom look how cute they are and I wasn't expecting to get these I totally had forgotten about them I got them for Christmas. They're supposed to soften the fabric and control dryer static and just help drying time in general. And I did wanna show you the card she got me. She always picks out the cutest cards. I am the worst because I just get a box of really generic, like everyone gets the same card for Christmas and I never pick out 
like special ones for anyone, I guess. Getting back into some artsy stuff, I got a set of Posca paint pens. I guess there's actually a couple sets here, but it was a bundle, so they were sold together. I asked Craig for these. This box has 15 of the paint pens, and if you guys are unfamiliar with these, I did a review and unboxing and swatching an art video with them, so I'll link that in the description box below, as well as the iCard up in the corner. I only had 10 or 12 in my set, so there's a few few that I don't have in here, um, gray, one of the oranges. I'm really happy to have an extra white and black though because those do get used up a lot more quickly than the other colors, depending on you know the type of artwork you do. But I'm always using the white for highlights and the black for outlining lately. So it's good to have these. I saw the pastel ones and these are a little bit bigger of a tip. There's seven in here and I think that these colors are really, really pretty. Then these two are just kind of out on their own. There is gold and silver. I think they're metallic. The nice thing actually about these, I didn't notice this when I opened them, is they're not all individually wrapped in plastic like these are and like the other set that I got was. I also asked for more markers. The Skin Tone set of Tombow brush pens. It's actually called the Portrait Pen palette but basically just a bunch of different skin tones and kind of blushy lip colors as well like pinks whenever i refer to these i'm always going to call them markers even though the name is brush pen i just don't really understand why they are a pen when crayola markers are markers boggles my mind they just are markers to me i also got the tombow marker storage container <laughs> This can hold up to 108 markers. I do have a few more packs of these, so I'll probably have this half filled by the time I organize everything. It's a really sturdy box too. It actually expands, very, very handy. I do have one more really cool art supply to show you guys, but I'm gonna put it at the very end. So if you're only here for art supply stuff, Skip ahead to watch that. If not, I'm gonna show you the rest of the random stuff, which isn't very much. So just hang tight and we'll get to that soon. I got this as kind of a gift for Craig and I. It is a Super Mario Party Nintendo Switch game. If you guys have played this, let me know what you think. It says that there's new mini games and everything, so it should be fun. My friends and I had an ugly Christmas sweater party a few weeks ago. We did a secret Santa and this is the package that I got. It's from my friend Alicia. I got some cozy socks because because I can never ever ever have too many socks and I always am looking for more like high ones to the knee or even crew socks because I have so many pairs of ankle socks so I need to definitely stock up on the warmer ones because I live in Ohio and it's cold here in the winter and like half of fall and spring too. I also got three pairs of hoop earrings and I know I'm not wearing them today, but in probably 75% of my videos, I don't know how accurate that estimate is, but I'm basically wearing hoop earrings in so many of my videos. So I asked for more hoops naturally. That's a really cool pair. That's kind of ovally. I don't have anything like this, so I'm definitely gonna wear these pretty soon. These are a little bit smaller, but wide. And then these are just kind of normal. Yeah. The final thing I wrote on my secret Santa paper was a tiny plant to put on either my bookshelf or like our baker's rack in the kitchen. So she found this one, it's sparkly and it kind of looks like there's fake snow on it. And even though it is kind of wintry themed, I feel like I'm gonna leave it up all year. I might move it from the kitchen to my art room. He's like, what's that noise? It's autofocus. P.S. really quickly, I got my cat this water fountain. There's a daisy on the top. I'll show it on his channel or just randomly like on my social media pages or something on my vlog channel maybe. If you guys are interested, I think, you know, he's gonna have fun with it. I asked my mom for a new foundation, which is the one that I wear in basically almost every single video that I film. It's my go-to everyday high coverage foundation. Did I just say high coverage? full coverage. <laughs> it is the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. I am the shade Light 48. I mean, that's the one I use. I don't really know <laughs> if that's the right one. I like the way it looks on me, so I think it's good. I do have it on right now. I still have some of the other one left, but I wanted to think ahead and not run out before I got a new one. She also got me a few things that I had no clue I was getting. So there's this weird, really cool feeling spongy thing. It really is a sponge. It's for dishes. It's the Stay Clean Scrubber. I kind of just want to carry this around with me all the time. It's so satisfying. She also gave me this 
thumb scraper, which is essentially to scrape off those annoying stickers on new pots and pans and dishes and anything, anything really, any product, any box that you need to scrape something off of. It's a very handy tool, advertised as a small task scraper. Save your manicure. That's a selling point for me because I always am trying to not ruin my nails. Every time I think of like opening something with my nails, I always think of Christine and she's like, get people to do it for you. That's like one of the tips in her um, growing your nails video. If I do end up uh, making more pottery, more clay stuff, then I might trim my nails down, which is weird because They've been long for a very, very, very long time now. But even if I do trim my nails, this is still gonna come in handy because stickers, some of them are just so ridiculous to get off. It's almost like there should be a law to where they can't use that type of adhesive. But then I guess Goo Gone wouldn't be in business, right? My mom also got me this, which I had no clue I was getting, but every time we drive in the car together, well, when I'm driving and I don't know how to get somewhere, I always put the directions in my map, obviously, on Google Maps. And then I just like kind of put my phone in my cup holder and let it talk to me. But she always says that I should get a uh, phone holder for the car, like a mount for the window. And I'm like, oh yeah, that would be a great idea. And then I never get it. So she got me this and it's gonna come in handy. So practical gifts, I, I like this kind of stuff. Bringing you guys down to the floor for this one. So as you can see, it's a giant set of pots and pans from my mom. This was much needed because we have some very questionable looking pots and pans that have scrapes in them because they have the non-stick material and they're just not good. So we definitely needed these. And then the last non-artsy thing are these little itty bitty pair of shorts that I'm going to wear to work out in at home whenever I do my band exercises or like my leg lifts and stuff like that. Just whatever I wanna do around here. They're very, very stretchy, spandexy. I haven't tried them on yet, but um, hopefully they'll fit. It's from the brand Firm Abs, yes please. <laughs> we made it to the last item. It is a wood burner. Ever since moving, I've been even more excited to try kind of more grown up projects. So this is definitely something very mature and the things that I can make with this can be home decor projects or even gifts for people that they'll actually want to display in their house rather than like tuck in a drawer or something. So I'm pretty excited for all the possibilities with this. It can do quite a bit of things. So there's hot stamping, stencil cutting, wood burning of course, leather crafting, and then soldering, image transfers, and even a hot knife to cut through faux pumpkins and other types of things. Now I'm even more excited. And it comes in its own storage box, which is great. I normally do post a video every single Friday here, so if you never wanna miss out, be sure to ring that bell, turn all the notifications on, and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun extra video. It's something I do every single year, and I always enjoy watching all the other YouTubers post what they get. I think it's cool for gift ideas. It's really cool to see how thoughtful people's families and friends are, so it's something that I enjoy sharing every holiday season. Be sure to come back on Friday for another artsy crafty video. You guys did vote on this to be my next craft kit. I'm not sure that I'm gonna get to it this Friday, but it will be the next craft kit I try. So this is a giant loom and it's looking like this one. I will uh, go back and look through the votes again on my uh, Potter's Wheel video, but depending on how long this takes, I'll put this up soon. I will put more videos in the description box and the iCard up here so you guys can see those if you missed out. I just posted a really cool Sharpie artwork drawing video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a happy new year and I'll see you very soon. Bye.